Hello and welcome to Learn English Vocabulary. My name is Jack and I'm making this podcast for you to learn or revise English vocabulary. These podcasts are graded from A2, which is around lower intermediate, all the way up to C2, which is advanced. I hope you find these podcasts useful. If you do, please leave me a rating and a review as this will help other learners find these podcasts. This podcast is A2, so I'm going to look at a set of words. Because the vocabulary is straightforward, I'm going to present short sets of words that are connected. Today's set of words is for things you can find in the kitchen and use to prepare food. Today's words are chopping board, scales, whisk, mixing bowl, oven and hob. If you want to test your knowledge of these words, you can visit learnenglishvocabulary.co.uk where you'll find the transcript and some other activities related to this podcast. OK, so starting with chopping board. This is a flat piece of wood or often plastic that you use to chop things on. You should use different chopping boards for fresh and cooked meat so you don't get sick. Some people have special chopping boards for bread that are called bread boards. Scales are used to weigh things. In the past, people used a little balance with two trays and weights. You could put a known weight on one side and then measure your flour or butter on the other. These days, kitchen scales can be mechanical and they use a spring or electric. I have electric scales in my kitchen because they're easy to use. Something to notice, the word scales is plural. We don't ask where is the scales, we ask where are the scales. The next word is whisk. This is a machine that you can use to mix things quickly. I have an electric whisk that is a bit like a strange drill. Instead of a drill bit, it has two odd blades that are like little metal frames. You can get hand whisks as well. They have a little handle that you turn with a geared disc to make the blades turn really fast. I use my whisk to mix pancake batter. The word whisk is also a verb. You can whisk egg whites until they're stiff if you're making meringue. The next word is easy. Mixing bowl. A mixing bowl is a big bowl that you use to mix ingredients together. If you're going to bake a cake and need to cream some sugar and butter, you need a good mixing bowl. The word bowl is also used for smaller items. I have cereal bowls to eat breakfast cereal out of and soup bowls too. The next two words are machines you use in your kitchen to cook food. The first is oven. This is a metal box with a heating element that you can use to roast meat or bake bread or cakes. I have a fan oven, which means there's a fan to move the hot air around. The final word is hob, and this is the surface with hot plates that you can put a pan on. There are different types of hob. I used to have a gas hob, which had four little burners. Now I have an electric induction hob, which is great because it's much easier to clean. You can fry things in a frying pan on a hob, or boil things in a pot or a saucepan. So, there are six bits of vocabulary that you can use to talk about things in the kitchen that you use to prepare food. If you're interested in food and cooking, there are links on the side of the page to other vocabulary podcasts that are about food and cooking. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a comment or a review and don't forget that you can read the transcript for this podcast and complete some language activities on learnenglishvocabulary.co.uk. Thanks for listening 